Give me that joy I can't explain. Add extra peace that'll ease my pain. I want that love that'll never change. Give me that. Give me that. Good morning and welcome back to your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio. Better than when you heard it the last time you heard it. I'm CJ. Let go. The National Basketball Association had a few games that posted in the paint last night as the New York Knicks were defeated by the Indiana Pacers 81-76 with Paul George's man-sized double-double of 24 points and 11 rebounds. Overtime was needed in order for the Dallas Mavericks to get past the Sacramento Kings 117-112 with 24 points from O.J. Mayo and the defending champs Miami Heat was edged out by a three-pointer from Wesley Matthews with 26.9 seconds left as the Portland Trailblazers hold off the Heat 92-90 and 28 points from Nicholas Batum. Men's college basketball had two ranked teams in action as fourth ranked and previously undefeated Arizona was upset by unranked Oregon as four out of five starters were in double figures and ninth ranked Gonzaga takes care of business against St. Mary's with a 83-78 win as Kelly Olynyk made the Nets holla with 31 points. For your NBA quick dribbles, nearly a year removed from his latest knee surgery, former number one overall pick Greg Oden has decided to resume his playing career but is not planning to return to the NBA before the 2013-14 season. Very little has gone according to plan for the Los Angeles Lakers this season, so little in fact that Executive Vice President Jim Buss said Thursday it would be foolish to quote, blow it up, unquote, until the team has played enough games together to correctly identify why it has so badly underachieved. Cleveland Cavaliers center Anderson Berejao had surgery to repair a split leg muscle, an injury that could sideline him two more months. And finally, Patrick Ewing Jr. has signed with Spanish club Blancos de Riuda Valladolid until the end of this season. For your NFL quick hits, Rob Chizinski, who spent the past two seasons as Carolina Panthers offensive coordinator, has been hired by the Cleveland Browns as a six full time coach since 1999. Ten days after Shad Khan fired general manager Gene Smith, the Jacksonville Jaguars' new GM essentially fired head coach Mike Malarkey. The Pittsburgh Steelers have weighed running back Chris Raining on Thursday after he was arrested in Gainesville, Florida and charged with one count of simple battery after an altercation with the woman over a cell phone earlier in the day. Junior Seau, who committed suicide in May, two years after retiring as one of the premier linebackers in the NFL history, suffered from chronic traumatic encephalopathy, a neurodegenerative disease that can lead to dementia, memory loss, and depression. And finally, after 13 years in the NFL as a quarterback and a dozen documented cases of concussions, Bernie Kozar discovered Dr. Rick Spanagel, a pioneer in brain therapies who runs a wellness institute in Palm Harbor, Florida. And Kozar claims through Spanagel's groundbreaking work that his symptoms have improved, his brain is healing, and he's feeling better than he has in years. This is a new year and this is your chance to claim your share of $10,000 in cash and prizes at Rima Word Broadcasting's 6th Annual Ministry Gala. Get on the payment plan now to secure your tickets by logging on to RimaWordTV.info for more information. And if you're unable to attend the event, please sow a seed to be a blessing. To catch archives of your spiritual sports segment, log on to my innovative blog site, cjsports.com, and make sure you give me that follow on Twitter, at cjsports, and don't forget to like me on Facebook, at cjact. Stay tuned for more updates on your next spiritual sports segment, where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ B. Bless. And keep smiling because God did not bless you with the spirit of fear. So in 2013, live your dream.